Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to the V. Lee Mar Show. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Welcome back. Um, today, I have a pretty interesting thing because I'm finishing, well, I'm not finishing, but I'm continuing my crafty cooking kits adventure. So, before we get into this chocolate chip cookie dough pudding cups kit, <laughs> we got a shout out. Any idea who it could be? I know who it is. Do you know? I'll give you a hint. It starts with a K. <laughs> Any hint? Any clue? All right, I'll tell you. It's Care Bear. Congratulations, Care Bear. Everybody give her a round of applause, please. And she became a VIP because she commented. You can be a VIP, too. Just got to comment. So, I am very appreciative of all the comments that I'm getting. I definitely have to mention that. Very much appreciative. Thank you guys. Please comment. And today, I'd like you guys to go in the comment section before we start here. Because um, I have a little confession to make. If you have me on, on Facebook, um, you may have seen the post already. But, um, as you know, I'm doing the crafty cook cooking kits. And there's six of these. And I went ahead and I made some. You know, you saw the unicorn jello. You saw the, um, it was a pudding one. It was a pudding one, like a s'mores pudding kit. And then I was doing the celebration cake. And then I have this one, a donut one to do. And I think that's one, two, three. Yeah, that's about all, about, about all of them. I think there's, anyways, okay. I deleted my video before I posted it. I deleted it off of my phone on accident. I don't even want to go into it. But I'd like to know what are your... Oh man, I cannot believe I just did that moment. Give me your juiciest ones because that's mine. I cannot believe I deleted that video before. Now I did do it with my... Um, I did do it with my floor, uh, my uh, or uh, Florida Aquarium video, which I'm still working on for you guys. It's well worth it, but uh, yeah, I screwed up, you guys. I messed up. I can't believe I deleted the whole video, and I'm going to redo it for you guys. So you know, keep an eye out for that. Let's get in here. Let's get in. Start this one. This has instant vanilla pudding mix, uh, cookie dough bites, and sweet, semi-sweet mini chocolate chips. And this one comes with the plastic cups for it. So that's good because my last one, or actually it wasn't this. It wasn't from this company. My last one was from Jell-O. It was the worms and uh, mud one, and it did not come with little cups. So I'm glad this kit includes everything you need, except for the milk. We need milk. How much milk? We need a cup and a half of milk. So let's start pulling things out here. Ooh la la. Let's move out so we can see Care Bear's name in the back there. There's our pudding mix. There's our cups. And seems fairly simple. Ooh, cookie dough and chocolate chips. So let me see, how can we put this to where, there we go. We want to keep that in the background because we know I'm known for making mistakes. So let's just take some of this stuff out and just kind of get it ready. Yum, I just eat these by itself, video done. <laughs> I love cookie dough, so. All right, let's set these to the side and let's start our first my door's popping open and closed, so if you can see my lighting change, that's what that is. But it's a beautiful day outside, and I figured I'd open the door. At least we feel some flies flying. <laughs> you know how that is. All right, so I think we don't need these yet, so we're going to put these to the side. Because right now, we need to combine our milk 
and our instant pudding in a bowl. Um, let's see, let's get this. It looks like it should rip open easy. Let's see. Yes, you do. Kind of, sort of. Oh, there we go. Don't do this with what I'm doing at home. But I did manage to open it, so. I don't know. Kind of a fail, but <laughs> it opened. Anyways, so we're going to combine our pudding with our milk. So I have my milk here. And um, I already have it measured out. Cup and a half. But I would like to point out, because it says here... And I don't know if you can read it. It says pudding will not set with a non-dairy milk substitute such as soy or almond. So you're going to want to use regular milk. Um, doesn't really specify. I have 2%. You can use 1%. You can use whole milk. But it does have to have dairy in it. Not, not like soy or almond. So I definitely want to point that out. Um, so let's pour our milk in. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? Yeah, you guys, I found my whisk. So this pudding cup, yeah, it's just water. I rinsed everything out. Um, this pudding cup, I'm looking forward to because it should be a little easier for me this time. You know, not having to mix everything with my little teeny tiny spoon. Mm -hmm. All right. So, let's get it here. I have to admit, I thought it'd kind of be a little bit more pudding. <laughs> oh, careful. Make sure we have all of it out. Especially since we just lost a lot to the air. Ugh. Whisk it, whisk it, whisk, whisk, whisk it. I think Bobo can smell it. It smells good, I have to admit. I don't blame her. Alright, so I'm just going to... It says whisk briskly. Briskly until smooth. Alright. Briskly until smooth and pudding begins to thicken right, so I have mixed it and I think it is as thick as it's going to get seems thicker I don't know let's keep going I think it could get thicker than this All right, that don't work. <laughs> All right, so we'll just keep mixing it. Oh, look, you can see it's definitely getting thicker there. I lost some lighting. Okay, shouldn't have to worry about that no more. All right, I'm definitely noticing, look at that from the last time I tipped it over. It's definitely, definitely thickening up. So. We're almost there. I do want it to thicken up a little more. And then it says we're going to take a spoon and we're going to dis distribute it in these cups. It says to fill the cup just under halfway. And how cute. These are completely different cups than I've had before. All right. Let's move this. See the cups? They are very different. So, we'll set those out so you can see. And um, actually, no. No, I'm not. I'm going to do one at a time. 
So we'll get our little handy dandy spoon. Let's do this. Let's move this here. Actually, I'm left handed. Let's do it this way. What do you guys think about the thickness? I think that looks pretty good. And it says it's going to sit in the refrigerator for five minutes to chill. So I'm sure it'll thicken up then too. I don't know. Let's see. Let's do two in each one until we get them all done. And then I'll see what's left. Now, I don't know. I kind of think I'd have rather had chocolate pudding. I do like vanilla pudding. But I, I like chocolate pudding better. <laughs> All right. And we've got our last cup back there, which I see. Um... Let me see, uh-huh. Just under halfway. I think that's going to be good for now. I think because we put more on top. And I do need to have some saved for when we do the tops of it. So, we've got some left. It doesn't look very pretty if I could be honest. But, alright, so there's my cups. I didn't do those very pretty either, but we'll clean them up and see if we can make it look a little better. But these bad boys are going in the fridge for five minutes to chill, so we'll see you after. All right, they seem to have set, so I'm taking them out right now, right now. It's a little better. Let me do that. Nice. I cheated. I freeze did it dumb. <laughs> I put them in the freezer. Just to be a little quicker. Now we're going to, next step is to put our chocolate chips in. So we have our bag of chocolate chips, which I opened already. So you didn't have to see the embarrassment of me opening this bad boy. So it says, here's a hint. If you want it to look like it looks like in the picture... in the picture yeah then it says to put the chocolate chips around the sides not in the middle of it so I didn't read this did I where's my lighting there we go everyone's favorite guilty pleasure comes to life in a one of a kind pudding cup vanilla vanilla pudding is layered Mmm, the chocolate chips are good. With semi-sweet mini chocolate chips and topped off with oh-so-tasty cookie dough bites. I can't even. <laughs> Get yours quick because these layered dessert cups will be gone before you can type it. Hashtag yum. They're so funny. I don't know if I showed you the nutritional facts, but for those of you who need it, there it is. So there's the size of the boxes. That's kind of it. <laughs> So, let me see. What's the best way to... Oh, okay. That seems to be working okay. I don't know. I think, I think it might just be easier for me to just use my fingers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How's that look, you guys? Now, I have to make a confession. I tried some of the pudding when I was clearing, cleaning the cups up a bit. I am a bit worried. I am hoping that the chocolate chips and the um, 
cookie pieces will help fix that taste because I am personally not a fan. It doesn't really, I mean, it's vanilla, but there's like this, this weird aftertaste. I can't completely describe it. It's just an aftertaste. Yeah. So we're going to get ours to look like the picture. I hope. That's the goal. Let's see if we nail it. If we nail it and then I don't delete the video, I think we're good. All right, let's put this over here. Let's get our next one up in line. So I've tasted the chocolate chips. I've tasted the pudding. I have not tasted the cookie dough bits yet. There we go. Should be able to see that from the outside. Yeah. Just a few more to garnish that side. All right, so I kind of did them all. There's a few left. I think I'm gonna save that for the top and garnish. Gar, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's see. You look a little flimsy. We'll put some more in here. You could use a little more. You could use a little more. Let's put them in the middle since we can See them all from the outside at this point. All right. Uh, let's hide the ugly ones. Okay. So now we're just going to pour the rest of the pudding mix on top of these. All right. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> All right. Hey, yeah, I kind of do look like the picture. Look at that. You guys. If I can do this, you can do this. And you might even get yours a little bit prettier than mine. I don't know. If you do get a chance to do these kits, I'd love to see what yours looks like. You can um, put the picture on my Facebook page. That would be so cool if you get to do any of these kits here. Now, I get mine at Walmart. They're all in the same aisle. They're all bunched up next to each other. I guess by the puddings and jello. But I've had a good time with some of these kits. I sure hope so, because now I have to record the whole other one over again. So, sure hope I'm having a good time with this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Scraping the bowl here for the last itty bitty bits. There we have it. Yeah. I don't know why I tasted it again, but I really hope this stuff makes it better. It's just too much. Plasticky? If I can say it tastes plasticky, it tastes plastic like. But there's still hope. There's still hope. 
because we have the best parts here. And I'm not even going to eat any of these. I'm not even going to try them by themselves. Hmm. Hmm. How would you guys do these if you are making this kit? Would you put it around the edge like that? Would you just throw it in the whole cup? Would you make a little design, a little smiley face? I'm pretty sure you could even add your own toppings. I mean, I could see myself wanting to add some, some whipped cream or something to this. I mean, I think that would just make it pop. That's me, not never be able to just make something. I just have to go above and beyond. Oops. It's okay, we'll pick him up. I don't know why it's a him, but yeah, okay. <laughs> he doesn't want to get into anyone's cup. That was a different one, but they're, they're becoming difficult. They're learning their fate, and they're trying to escape. <laughs> All right. Yeah, they're going to get eaten. Yeah. Sorry, you guys, but let's put some in the middles. Put some in the middles. In the middles, in the middles. You seem like you need some more. One left. There we have it. Does it look like the picture, you guys? Let's see. That looks nice. You like a good thumb, thumb, uh, thumbnail shot. What do you think? All right. Um. Final shot. There we have it. And I am a little scared, but I'm going to take a bite. Let me eat this ugly one so we can get it out of the way, and all the pretty ones will be visible. So, does that look good? Let's see. I mean, you can see the pudding. It just looks weird to me. Right? I mean, it just, I don't know. Let's see. You ready to see the spoon disappear behind the camera? Oh, no. Where are you guys going? Come back, cookie, cookie dough. Come back. All right, let's try it. Hmm. Mm hmm. It don't help. It don't really help. Let's see. One more try. Mm. It, I mean, mm -hmm. if they'd have just used their chocolate pudding from their other kit, this would be so much more better. But it's like a cheap taste to it. I, I hate to say it, but I'm just not crazy about this pudding. That's my review on it. I mean, the cookie dough tastes great. Hello, it's cookie dough. The chocolate chips, chips they taste uh, very good. Very good quality. Not too sweet. They're just great. It does say they're semi-sweet. So, yeah, that makes sense. Um, But the, the yogurt, I mean, not the yogurt, the, the pudding, it, it ain't right. It just ain't right. I don't know. I, I'm going to have Corey taste it when he gets home. Maybe it's just me. Hmm. These are nice and kind of soft and crumbly. Hmm. 
You guys, have you tried this kit? If you not, if you have not, will you try it and let me know what you think? I'm so confused. But that's all for this video, you guys. Um, I had fun making it. And if, if I don't like it, if it is me, if it's not just me and it does taste weird, I don't know. Maybe I'll find someone who likes it. Little kids like a lot of things. Maybe I can find a little kid who likes to eat this. Alright, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.